everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Christopher and I am pleased to meet you. Um, today I am bringing a very exciting and highly requested video about drugstore skincare products. So I have a few products I'm gonna share with you that I really love that don't break the bank. Everything is under $20, and I believe the most expensive thing is $16. These are all products that I've used in the past a lot, or am currently using, that I really, really love, and just want to share with you, because let's face it, no one should go broke for skincare. So today's budget-friendly options are really great alternatives to really high-end skincare products. I heard all of your requests and you wanted me to film in different spaces throughout my house and that home tour is coming. So today if we're talking about skincare, I might as well be in my bathroom. Before we get started, if you are new here, first, welcome. I am so happy to have you. If you like skincare, beauty, lifestyle, luxury, product reviews, planning and organization, this channel is for you you found your place. So click that little red button down below and join the fun. And if you're not already, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. We have a lot of fun there. I answer every single question and comment and I post daily. So go ahead and catch me over there. I will leave my handle right here and I hope to see you there. Without further ado, let's jump into these products where I keep it short and sweet. The first product I'm going to talk about is actually not skincare. Well, I guess it is because it has essential oils in it and it does smooth your skin. But it is Dr. Till's Epsom salts for a bath soak. And I like this formula in particular. It's called the Soothe and Sleep. This has lavender in it and it has essential oil so it does leave your skin feeling really soft. It also helps it relax and restore muscles. So I really love this stuff. Now obviously the bag is not attractive so to make your bathroom feel more like a spa, I buy an old metal bowl at Goodwill, pour these in, keep it bedside. Bedside, no, because that would be weird. I keep it bath side and I go ahead and pour some of these in every single time I take a bath. These are about $3.96 at Walmart or Target, so you can pick these up anywhere. It is a great, cheap way to bring the spa into your bathroom. Now we're gonna dive into all skincare from here on out. I have some cleansers for you, some masks, some moisturizers, some firming creams. It's a plethora of products and I think you'll really like them and they're just great cheap alternatives. The first thing that I'm going to share with you, I started using probably about three months ago and I absolutely love it. I've probably gone through half a dozen bottles of it and that is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I absolutely love this stuff. I switch it out with a witch hazel cleansing toner that I use and this is the first thing I use when cleansing my face. So I just put it on a cotton pad and I wipe down my entire face before I go in with my real cleanser. I feel like it's a great way to get that first layer of like dirt from the day off your face and to um, really get your skin ready to get the most out of all your products. It's really light. It's really refreshing. I really enjoy this runs about $4. You can get it at Target, Walmart, or any drugstore. I would definitely check this out. It also feels really luxurious and your skin will feel really clean. So I recommend this product. Now we're gonna talk about cleansers and I only have one to recommend you and it is the one I go to all the time and it is super reasonable. I think it's like $5, um, but it's by Aveeno and it is the Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. This is a really gentle scrub. Don't think of like those almond scrubs where it feels like you're rubbing shards of glass into your face. This has really gentle beads of exfoliant. Um, and it's a soy extract. It is really light. It you don't even see beads of exfoliant in there. Only once you start rubbing it in do you start to feel the beads. They're very gentle, very mild, but this does leave your skin looking really bright. I really recommend this. I find that my skin always looks really bright and radiant after using this, um, and it's super reasonable, and it's a great option. Now we're gonna talk about moisturizers, and you know, I typically talk about masks and cleansers, so for me to have four moisturizers that I really love, <laughs> that's saying a lot. The first product we're going to talk about is actually from e.l.f. It is their hydrating serum. I really love this stuff. After you do your whole skincare routine, you want to go over with the hydrating serum lastly to really lock in the product, lock in the moisture. It has aloe, it has vitamin E, it has shea butter and other antioxidants. 
and it's a really nice light serum. Some serums are incredibly oily and this one is actually really creamy. It soaks in really quickly. Some serums take a long time to dry down so I really appreciate that this soaks in so quickly and dries down. Um, I just really like this product, highly recommend it. Super reasonably priced for a hydrating serum. Um, the next group of products I'm gonna talk about are actually the two most expensive, but one is a daily moisturizer and one is an eye cream, which we know those can cost in the hundreds. And these both run about $16 at Target. The first one is the daily moisturizer and it is the Yes Age Refresh Daily Moisturizing. It uses blueberries and um, cotton thistle, I believe, and it is really great for reducing fine lines and plumping and firming the skin. And it says you'll see results in four weeks. I didn't time it, but I have absolutely seen results with skin firming when I'm consistently using this. What I love about this moisturizer, kind of like the e.l.f. serum, it's super, super creamy and it goes into the skin really quickly dries down, you don't feel oily. I put this all over my face and all over my neck. Um, I use it during the day, I've used it at night. I just love it. I typically also carry this one in my bag a lot of times, just to throw on. I also like this when traveling. And can I tell you the smell? It doesn't smell like blueberries, but you definitely smell like cotton thistle and it smells really clean and fresh. I really like it. The next product I'm going to talk about is the Yes to Blueberries Eye Firming Treatment. Once again, the antioxidants in the blueberries is all packed into this little jar. I have seen a lot of firming, but what I've seen the most is some smoothing and retexturing of the skin underneath my eyes. My eyes tend to get really dry, and because of that, they can look a little cracked or patchy, and this has really helped with that. I will use this switching back and forth between my Origins Ginseng eye cream and this, and I've seen really great results, and I'm really pleased with this, and I can tell you the texture under my eyes is way smoother than it has ever been, and I definitely see a reduction in fine lines as well. So once again, eye creams get really expensive for $16. This is a really great buy. And lastly, you have heard me talk about the Lush Sleepy Lotion so many times, but I'll tell you that lotion is $30 for a jar this big, so it is extremely pricey, but I love that stuff so much. But I want to give you an alternative that I found um, probably around Christmas time that is very similar for a fraction of the cost, and that is Burt B's Calming Lotion. It is. It is thick, so you will feel it like on your skin, but when it says it's calming, it is so calming. It reminds me so much of the Sleepy um, as far as like the effects I get from it. The scent is different. I would say Sleepy from Lush is a lot more lavender, but you definitely smell it here. There's also a lot of powder fragrance in this, which I really enjoy. It smells like, it smells like a little baby. But um, I really enjoy this. If you don't want to spend the 30 for the Lush Sleepy, I think this is a great alternative. You can grab it at Target um, or a drugstore. It's, it's great. Now, this would not be a Christopher skincare product review if I didn't talk about a mask. You all know how much I love a mask. So this one actually surprised me. I picked this up at the drugstore while walking through because I was really into charcoal and I saw this charcoal mask. And the mask that I have been loving is the Pure Clay Mask by L'Oreal. So this mask is really good for minimizing pores, deep cleaning them, pulling out those toxins. That automatically really evens out your skin tone and I have really enjoyed this mask and it looks ridiculous when you put it on. So it is literally a black clay. You put it on, I always leave a mask on longer than it recommends, but it says that you should leave it on between 10 and 15 minutes. I usually go about 20, 25, and then I just rinse it off. Um, I really enjoy this. I've been using it about two times a week and really like it. I always switch out my masks because I like different benefits from different ones. So I usually do something with charcoal that detoxes and cleans about twice a week. And then I also always do a hydrating one about three days a week. And then the other two, I will often do like sometimes like a more acne skin treatment um, if I'm having some problems with breakout. 
um, but I mix up my mask based off my skin's needs, and I find that when I balance out detoxing with moisturizing masks throughout the week, I get the best results with my skin. So I really recommend this. I really like it. And L'Oreal, you did a great job with this one. Those are the skincare products I had to share with you. I hope that you really enjoy them. I know that skincare becomes a pricey, pricey game, so I wanted to bring some really cheap alternatives that you can use daily and really see great results with your skin. And I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone, my friend. Until next time, bye-bye.